today we are playing yeah. Erectus the game. Don't turn down the volume. We're watching the stream on Laura's phone so that we can check out any chat. And she's trying to watches. bug me. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. You got you gotta put it out there. You but okay. So we're playing the closed beta of Erectus the game. Apparently, is a game about mm. humans. About what? Nothing. Okay. So, what do you think? Let's see what these say. I, I'm not gonna move because there's a cat on me. Well, I know, but you can look. You can play with me. I'm not wearing my glasses. Can you read the options? Okay. So we've path? got four paths here, and from what I know, this is like a civilization building game. But it's also MMO, so, like, what is that? Multiple, like, it's an online multiplayer game. So, we might be um, going up no. against other people in beta as well. So we've got the Okating, the Ngane, I'm not sure if you pronounce that N, the Ikari, and the Asura. I like the name Asura. Actually, so, the Oak Ting, complex society, uh, slow growth in the early stages, however they compensate with excellent defense. The Ingane are make great use of natural resources, good robbers, populations grow quickly due to their excellent skills as robbers. Kari are off to a slow start. They're not good for robbers, but they compensate with strong military. And the Asura is above average in a lot of respects. They have a good knack for technology, resulting in strong city and wall, strong city wall, and strong siege weapons. So the Oak Ting need to let civilization simmer. Growth does not come easy. Are defensive and take moderate investment time. The Ngane are early aggressive, uh, intelligent play for later stages, able to use time efficiently to raid and plunder to make up for bad economy. Mm -hmm. The Akari are patient, uh, smart, require support during early stage, and tactical play because they don't have a lot of units. And the Asura are active and intelligent play can use the strong points to compensate for their weak points and fun to play for players that enjoy raiding and robbing other players. What's good for brute force and ignorance? Brute force and ignorance? Yeah. That's um, of my life. The best military is the Akari. Okay. So, what do you think? Brute force and ignorance, babe. Brute force and ignorance. Okay, next choose our name make um, that ridiculous no what it's such a lame name always to use the same gosh dude okay you know what? you're schmoopy. fine what schmoopy i know it's Sh not creative moopy but you're schmoopy like sh and then like this s c h m o o p y s c h yeah Sh. 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 i don't even Sh. Shmoopy. like you know how schultz is spelled it's sh Okay. Well, I want S C H M O O. Right. We're gonna be schmoopy. Choose your location. Constantinople. Decide no, where to start. Simple. Decide New where Amsterdam. to start building. This is important if you're playing with friends, so you can build empires together. Mm. So we're. Well, to where build are we? An empire with you, BB. Where are we in the world? We're northwest, right? Yeah, we're northwestern hemisphere. Okay. Look are at you this ready? Baby. We're going in. Mm. I wish people could see this. Pecan's a cutie. Am I on some random person's Facebook profile? Maybe you could uh, send me some pictures. Yeah. So I could put it up. Along with this. So our world's being made. You've made my world. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but 
it's interesting that this game, I guess, plays similarly. Is there not any music at all to this? Well, isn't it still in progress? Yeah, I guess it's in beta. But maybe I'll put something in the background so it won't be hard to listen to as a video. Yeah, I got some okay. like copyright free. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Erectus. My name is is Waldy. Waldy, I will be your advisor and guide you through the first steps of the game. In about 15 minutes, you will be one of the best strategists this game has ever seen. Have fun playing Erectus. This is your village. Oh, look at this. We got our village going. To strengthen your village and get the most out of it, it's important to make the population of your village as large as possible. Mm -hmm. Upgrading your farm. To make sure that you can feed larger population, you need to upgrade your farm. Click on the farm to continue. Okay, so we've got five farms in this village. Okay. So, oh. our farm's at level five. Yo! What's up, Paul? Um. Alright, so our level is five and it's telling us to upgrade to six. And. Food's the most important part of Erectus. You can increase your food production by upgrading the farm. Maximum of ten workers per level can be used for food production. Alright, so let's upgrade that farm. So we're now level 6 for farm. Farm's been upgraded. Bigger farm can produce more food, which is needed for a larger population. We'll give you a reward. Nice, we got some... Goldy gold? We got some gold. Oh, you got a text from Dan. Okay. Give you a reward. Complete construction immediately. Do you want to complete this? Sure. Cool. What should I say? Kay. Cool? You don't have to say anything right now. Mm. Your farm has now been upgraded to level 6. A bigger farm can produce more food. Give you a, a reward. I'll claim the reward. Grading houses. Okay, so upgrade our houses to level 6. Good job, you now have 50 extra population in your village. Don't forget to upgrade your houses every so often. Here's your reward. I just received a strange message from some farmers after they returned from work. They claimed to have seen a group of people that didn't look like people. What? They seem quite different from us and seem to be heading towards our village. Oh, dang, yo. Okay, so... Can I... Complete this? Yeah. Um, oh, mm. <laughs> Draws! Can you hear all the mouth? No, don't make me peek it, I'm sorry, I'm so you hostess. Grading logging site and clay excavation. Time to increase your wooden clay... Boring, production. when can we murder? <laughs> you can't keep using these small sites forever. Murder! Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to click this the farm. This is so boring so far, to be honest. I know, like, God. Players, I've played them, I just... So is every game just the worst? No, it's actually a cool looking game. It looks really fun, I just wanna, like... I guess Close we have to get that. our... Like, I guess we have to get our crap oh. together before we can start... Okay, so we have gold that I've been spending. So we can either wait a few seconds for this many man hours to pass and for that to automatically, like, uh, upgrade, mm -hmm. or I can just click this. I didn't realize that I was spending that gold before, but... Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we have to, like, to get. get all, all our ups together, do all of our things, Can't get go good and healthy before we can start murdering, go right? visit clay excavation. Am I right? Am yeah, I right? well, like... And it's like how human society kind of was, right? I don't think we just ran around killing everybody from the outset. Like it was small groups of people doing hunter-gatherer stuff. 
You could tell them what game we're playing. Okay, so I upgraded clay. Gonna claim those rewards. Upgrade the command post. Okay. It's gonna upgrade all the things, I guess. I just want us to get like really big and like really strong, really fast. What does FTP oh, mean? Oh, free to play? I, I don't know yet because this is still in beta and like I follow the the developers Twitter but I haven't seen them like say anything about what the uh... like you pretty much asked for a key right well they put out a tweet being like hey we've got this game in beta message us for a key mm -hmm. and then it was a few months before they're like yeah now now we're ready to put this out mm -hmm. But just judging from some of the the UI here, there's a there's like invite friends and there's a store. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing the store here, if I were to click it, is you can um, use real money for the gold in order to like pump things up. But mm -hmm. oh wait. This is very concerning. The strange humanoids have been spotted near our village. One of the farmers has to hide himself from their sight. Murder. He says he saw them making plans to attack the village. I really hope you misunderstood what they were doing. I'm starting to get very worried. Okay, so we'll click on the command post to manage, manage workers. So we have 270. What should we do? What are the options? For? Well, do we want to... Can I... I can't read them from here. Could you read them for me? So we've got food, wood, clay, and iron. Mm-hmm. We've got 271. Or 270. Like, having one person work at each. We have 270 left over. Food is really important. Iron would be Sh great. Should we put 60 people? Yeah, food is really important. And put iron? I don't know about iron all the way, but iron high. Or can iron we just max out everything? Can we? Yeah, I can max everything out. Cool. And it leaves 101 people. Or 104 people, okay. Well, then we'll have them for later. Iron, I feel like, is really important for development, though. I don't know, I'm just thinking about history. Which I was never good at. Okay, great job. You can keep track of your current production level. Claim reward. Can increase speed by assigning more workers. Okay, let's upgrade our warehouse or storehouse, I guess. Oh, because you don't want too many people working at one at one place, and then you can't store any of it. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why we have people left over not doing any work. Those freeloaders. Slash children. So see, now I shouldn't have... I didn't realize I was using that gold before. Because now there's like... 11 minutes to wait. <laughs> Why did you tell Sam that? Playing Erectus. It's an erection first person shooter. I thought it'd be funny. Well, you should tell them what it actually is. So, yeah, this is feeling pretty, uh, pretty free to play ish. Just looking at the different stuff. Okay, so it has a history of what we've built, it's got stats, you can make alliances. Reports messages. Oh, there's a tavern. A tavern? We can report bugs. We can be like Las Vegas with Forum build a tavern and a wiki. society. Okay, so let's see. So our farms are at level 6. Uh, our iron's at level 3. The rest is at level 4. Activate production bonus. 
Oh. So yeah, I guess... Otherwise we'd have to buy... Hold on. Okay. So now... I can manage... The game allows you to manage the speed at which, you're, at which you build things. Don't forget to use this cleverly. After the structure has been built, it's wise to put your workers back on resource production. In addition to increasing production speed by managing workers, you can also spend gold to finish constructs immediately. Oh, I've already been doing that. Gold can be obtained from the in-game store. For now, I'll give you 10 gold to keep you going. Thanks, dude. Okay, so, can now, okay, I think all of our people are out working now. Oh, or we have like a hundred people working on the construction. Oh, so you can speed up construction by taking, taking people out of different places. In order to see your construction history, you can click that up at the top. I just when you're I want to get to be like, really strong as a civilization, so we can start taking over other civilizations. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, it's hey Ash, what you playing? Oh, Laura's also on Tumblr. Yeah, I so. This feature is active as long as you have... wait. This features is active. Okay, wait, did I miss something? What feature is active? Okay. Finish structures. Stats. High icon shows you various stats about all the players and alliances in the game. It's a good way to obtain quick info about your ranking. Okay. So I guess these are all the people that have been playing in like the northwest area mm -hmm. I guess like it showed that four quadrant map so here's some alliance names there's La Piovra the gladiators the Alpha Communist Federation nice Ri I'm not even gonna pretend to be able to pronounce that one the Sacrum Romanum Imperium Middle Earth Omega Future. Can we join Middle Earth's Alliance? We'll see. It's good to know the ranking of the best players, a mixture of various skills a player needs to have, like attack, defense, growth, wealth, and so on, so that the best player is actually the best player after all. Alright. Don't forget the value of the information. Building. Tactics of you. Building your city. It's time for us to build our first city! Oh my gosh. Cities Do you know what we should name it? Can we name it? In, Hold on, can in a we city, name the it? economy, military, knowledge, and government are being managed. A city can manage up to six adjacent villages. Go to the world map by clicking the world map button. Can we name it? Here we go. So that's. Wait. Do, do you have to be. The Hold world on, stop. Do you have to be strategic about where you build your city? I, I guess so. Because I feel like. like Look at all this. By a mount- like, I mean, because in case we're attacked, right? Where do you want to be? On the side of a mountain? Like, right beside a mountain? Hmm, but then you have to think mountain. about resources, right? Yeah. Um. How about between the mountain and the forest? I don't know. Here, you're now viewing the world map. You can see surrounding settlements of other players in your area. Is there anyone still watching who wants to tell us their ideas? Hello? It seems like one of those build your town phone games. Yeah, it does. I played so one far. for like a minute and then I In got In order really to bored. start building your city, click on an empty spot, preferably next to your village. Oh. So. Where's our village? Is this our village? I guess. Oh, yeah. 
Spooky can we do something village. like more in like the mountains like in the like crevice like the mountain crevice so like here yeah in the crevice right in the crevice, crevice of the mountain crevice all right so what does this say is this what we want to click now click the city icon to start building your first city first city is completely free This is your first city. It's for free. Okay. Crevasse. Oh, uh, first city must be built next to your first village. Well, that's... That's not as fun. So one of these. Oh, that is so lame. Um, and we can't build, like, in this rough forest. So we really only have, like, three choices. I like the angle up to the right. This one? Yeah. I don't know why, but it just feels so. Alright, let's build that business.